So I'm here in the Bailey with Ashton Farinella from the Thread magazine. She's going to talk us through. Hi Ashton. Um, hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm um, here with Garrett as well. Um, Hello. This is a Garrett picture of in Glow and Co. And uh, basically, um, between myself and Garrett and another guy, Keith Nally, we started talking about um, Thread early last year and we got the first issue out then in July. Oh, yes. Yeah, June or July, and we've just um, released the second issue there at the end of October. Um, but um, basically, um, Garrett had an idea to bring together, um, as a retailer owner of an independent fashion store in Dublin, um, he had an idea that he wanted to try and bring together, um, uh, you know, to try and create a group of the independent stores in Dublin, so that they would, um, that they were all doing something very original and very great, but, you know, on their own, they're small fish in the sea against the high streets and the high end, so to speak. Um, so that if they all came together and maybe worked together on in promoting each other, then uh, they would um, be in a better position. So blah blah blah. Oh, that was kind of you know the, the general start of the conversation. Um, I invited a few people to talk about it, including myself, and um, a magazine was something that I've wanted to do for ages. So we thought together that a magazine would be a good way to go about prom promoting a network of independent stores in Dublin. And uh, so basically Thread is supported by, um, for the first issue we started off with six stores, and for issue two we've already got eight stores. And uh, they are the best independent stores in Dublin. There is um, Indigo and Claw, Bo, Dolls, Havana in Donnybrook, um, Gentleman Please in Black Rock, uh, Smock and Costume, uh, Ucca in the Westbury Mall, that's it, yeah. Um, so basically, um, the stores support the printing of the magazine. So they all, you know, pay a contribution towards it, and this enables us to get it printed because obviously that's the most difficult expense. But the, um, then the features, the editorial, they all link back into the stores. So um, the fashion, for the fashion shoots, we pull clothes from the stores essentially. So we're linking back into the stores that way, and uh, we are also then. Um, with our features. So we are looking to uh, kind of cover people like designers that are involved that are sold through the stores. So here we have an interview with Peter Jensen who's a Danish designer and he's stocked in um, a Dolls Boutique and is actually the owner Tria Lennon of Dolls Boutique who uh, did the interview with Peter Jensen. So we're kind of involving everybody, like we're creating a network and we're getting everybody support and everybody involved. But um, at the same time then, it's also about um, talking about Irish fashion and, um, and independents working in the Irish fashion industry. So we're looking at, you know, uh, stylists, photographers, um, uh, hair and makeup artists, models, you know, we're looking at kind of pulling together this amazing group of people that are working here and giving them some kind of an outlet. So again, you can see in the magazines that like we've been covering, um, say, like Ireland has got amazing talent working within the fashion industry internationally. Here we did an interview with Simone Rocha and Cel Celestine Cooney. And Simone is like one of the biggest new gen designers that's out there at the moment and Celestine Cooney is one of the top ten probably stylist. international stylists so but they're both Irish and they're both very Irish so they, that's something to like think about and uh, then we have like here we've got um, we've got an interview with Boo George who is an amazing Irish photographer here he is and he's shooting for um, Love Magazine, French Vogue, um, wow. he's been doing loads of stuff. So, I mean, again, that's uh, just something that we wanted to be able to showcase in the magazine that, you know, you can be Irish and, you know, we have an amazing fashion industry. It's not all here, but like we've got definitely, we're well represented worldwide. I don't think any publication has ever captured the Irish retailer meets Irish designer, meets Irish stylist, meets Irish photographer before. So that's what we're doing. I think we live in a very international world right now. So we're networking, obviously it's quite a small world, so we can pick up the phone to anybody in London or New York who's based there, who's, we're saying, you know, Irish, but it doesn't have to be. Just somebody who meets the kind of credentials that we're trying to push. Um, and it is 
it's a fashion forward magazine, but at the same time, um, like a lot is made of contemporary. Contemporary just means now, it's representative of now. And I just think we're working with talent that's representative of now. We don't really kind of, we, I suppose we respect the past and there's a, there's a lot of past that comes through in that in terms of some of the Irish designers, some of the people that, who we respect, but also the future. And we're kind of looking at the future of Dublin right now and I think there's an awful lot of young people who are kind of saying, should we stay or should we go? And that's totally their choice, but what we're saying is, if you stay, this is maybe something that will kind of keep you in the country in the sense that this is a talent that we can put on display for you, it's a platform. And um, so if you're a young photographer, stylist, whatever, perhaps you can come and show us what your words. If we can showcase that for you, brilliant. Whereas that platform perhaps never really was there before. Yeah, Maybe on a blog platform. Yeah, but yeah. that's also about like kind of connecting what's happening here with what's happening internationally because it is all very connected. And you know, just even like it's not so it's very much it's about the independent boutiques who are doing something different. About Irish talent working in fashion, and it's also about um, you know what's happening internationally that we love and admire as well. And like been interview interviewed here with Sky Thoreau, who has um, a magazine in the States called Dossier, and you know very much did her own thing. And she's a photographer, artist, creative director, magazine publisher, you know. But these are all the kind of people that I think that we relate to as well, yeah. and that you know we are emulating and we are part of. So. That, um, I think it's great that they understand what we're doing as well. So yeah. we, we can probably pull in interviews and talent from abroad that perhaps other magazines here wouldn't would first of all perhaps don't even know exist, and then secondly wouldn't have the contacts to do that. So I think our reach is quite international, our thought process is quite international, yeah. whilst kind of always remaining true to our identity, which is Irish. And we don't see Ireland as twee or backward or kind of glass ceiling or whatever. It's like we just want to smash all of those things. Yeah. And, start and it's young and it's uh, more youthful in that it's a fresher aesthetic that, you know, maybe than what's being created here. But because we're not commercial. You know, this is not, we're not like, there are no shopping pages. It's about fashion as design and fashion as a life, you know, choice or experience or, you know, it's something that we're all extremely passionate about. And um, um, and it's not about, oh, you know, you have to be wearing hook dots now or like you have to buy this kind of stuff. We don't preach actually, so, we, no, we ed ed educate. We don't yes. do trends. Yeah, yes. no, we don't yeah. do trends. Like, the trends don't but, exist. Trends yeah. are made up by the fashion industry just to make people buy more clothes. Well, We're, I mean, yeah, like, and there is the whole commercial side is really important. Obviously, we wouldn't have an industry if it wasn't commercial, but yeah. like that we're just, we're exploring a different side of it. And, you, you wouldn't have an industry if there wasn't couture though as well. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, there always has to be a pinnacle and let it filter down. And I suppose, Without saying we're a pinnacle, I think we're a few layers below that. I just think there's nothing wrong with leading in the industry. And uh, I think that's what this does. And it's like, yeah, as you say, it's, it's, commercial is such a dirty word or whatever. Commercial is where you make money. Yeah, and I think in the future, I'm sure we'll do that as well. But it's just, you have to start somewhere. And if you're going to start, why not start at the top? So where can people, people can pick it up and it's free? It's free, yeah. And it's it, uh, just in the eight stores. Um, uh, no. Yeah, so it is. Oh. It's available in all of the eight stores, but um, it's also available in like some galleries, um, uh, other stores, and um, like other main street, like mainstream stores are also stocking it as yeah, well. Like and how many times? How many publications do you have? Yeah. Tower Records, yeah, I mean, and uh, like what's been great is that people have actually been calling us and asking for it, you know, saying mm. we want to stock it, so people really want it. Which There's is a lot of kind of gorilla drops as well, so we might just say, you know, on Twitter we just drop 50 into such and such store, um, and again, distribution hasn't really been done like that before, so no, it kind of, yeah, <laughs> you're kind of creating your own demand with sense yeah. of anticipation for it as well, so, but, um, we, we always give it exclusive to the stores initially for the first couple of weeks because it, I, obviously they're, they're very supportive and it wouldn't exist yeah, without them. Like them no. So um, it's great that they get first dibs on people coming in saying I can't wait to see this next issue. Great. And how, how many times a year are you planning on publishing? Or um, So we just started this year, we did two issues. We're hoping to do three next year. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. Great.